Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm your host, Adrian F. E. And on this spotlight, we're going to be discussing a game that might have been responsible for half the file sharing back in the days of Napster and LimeWire. Really dating myself. And, you know, personally, it introduced me to Ska. If I hum, do, 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 I think you'd be able to immediately relate, right? That's as far as I'm going with the music. Don't worry. No freestyling this time. Instead, let's listen to Rodney Mullen wax about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 by Vicarious Visions. Check it. Skateboarding is so special. It's the feeling you get that you can't put to words. Skateboarding is always kind of rogue. It doesn't have a long history. And now that skateboarding's been around for a while, and the people, I guess you can say, who did things right in a sense, it has a sense of history. And the way Tony picked everyone and the excellence of the games, it's so representative of this is our history. It has an important place in skateboarding. This is one of the goats of couch co-op gaming. My homework and I were not on good terms when the original two games dropped because there was just nothing like it at the time, you know what I mean? There was no accessibility to streams or YouTube for the best trick loops, so it was really up to you and a friend. I remember specifically playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 in Marseille with a friend. We found the right angle to reach the top of the welcome banner to start an extended trick as our opener, and we spent hours optimizing it. And that's what this game looks to bring back. Good news too, this version has nothing to do whatsoever with that HD release that was in 2012. This is Vicarious Visions, the same team that worked on the Game Boy Advance version of the games, and those two were heat. Like, I still play them. They've also been working closely with Activision to remain faithful to the original Tony Hawk 1 and 2 releases. Ostensibly, that includes the coding, the roster of skaters, main levels, hidden levels, and the soundtrack. In this video, we get a good look at a few different levels. NYC from Tony Hawk 2, Streets, San Francisco from Tony Hawk 1, and School 1, Miami from Tony Hawk Part 1. Part of the fun is hitting up certain spots and bringing back memories of, does this trick still work here? And of course, it looks really nice. There's a brief point in the video where they show a transition of NYC from Tony Hawk 2 in this game, Tony Hawk 1 and 2. That should give you a taste of just how far we've come. And look at the skater selection screen. It's all the original skaters, but this is actually kind of funny. Their models are updated to reflect their current age. That's crazy, man. It's been 20 years. That'd be like putting current day Yuji Nagata back into a remaster of WCW NWO Revenge on N64, which is a topic I will get into another day. But hey, nostalgia only gets you so far, right? So the game is ready for 2020. In addition to the previous skaters, they got some new ones that have been added to the roster, you know? In addition to some new bops to listen to while you skate with new tricks. And if you need even more content, you get Create a Skater, Create a Park, and a tutorial mode so you can get your skate game right and tight. You can find out what it's like when worlds collide right now. So pick up your copy. Rated T for Teen. <laughs> 